Kick it off, Katie. Hey guys, good to see you again. Just jumping in my truck now, threw my bow in the back. <clears throat> I'm gonna head up on the hill and slip on down, I think, and see if I can call me up a cougar. Give it a try anyway, it's worth a shot. So 22 years ago when I decided to pick up a bow and start hunting elk, I actually decided to kind of dive in to the bow hunting experience um, and kind of get warmed up and I chose antelope of all critters to go after. So I just had to share with you real quick this story that happened to me my very first year. I was bow hunting for antelope first part of August low 100s all week Towards the end of the week, I'm all by myself and I spot a buck bedded, probably about 700 yards away. Open sage prairie. So I decide to start making a stock. I get on my hands and knees and belly crawl my way for hundreds of yards and get within probably about 300 yards of this buck. It's still laying there, but I knew I probably couldn't get any closer and it was just gonna run off on me. So I decided to just kind of hang up there and wait around. Well, the minutes turned to hours and that buck would not move. After about three hours of laying there in the low hundreds, suddenly I see something moving next to this buck. It's a hunter. And he gets up, and he's probably 50 yards away from this buck. The buck's still laying there. The hunter gets up, and he walks towards the buck. He gets up to the buck, he reaches down, picks up the buck, folds it up, and puts it in his pack. So yeah, I spent most of my day stalking and hunting an antelope decoy. You know, half of my joy is just driving up to my spots. It's so beautiful and so much to see. Okay, I made it to my spot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hike up into this timber up on this ridge, take a seat in some ferns, and just uh, call on my predator call for a little bit, see what happens. I've got my protection, <laughs> little 38 special on my hip. I have had lots of cougar on my cameras in this area, and I actually called one in on accident when I was elk hunting one afternoon blowing on my cow call next thing I know there's a cougar in front of me it's absolutely gorgeous tonight I'm looking forward just to getting up in there and sitting down and relaxing enjoying the peacefulness of it all so let's go Feels good. 
just gonna settle in and hit that call a few times and let's see what happens. Since I'm kind of new to this, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try a doe bleat. I'm sure these cougars eat a lot of deer up here, so maybe that would be the ticket. Well, I've been giving it some time here. I think probably out of luck. <laughs> Maybe I should just use my cow call. Called that one cougar in that day. Didn't even know he was there. Probably 30 yards away in the ferns and when I stood up to leave, he went bounding off into the brush. That was pretty exciting. It's absolutely gorgeous out here though, man. Just amazing to be sitting out here. Sun's kind of peeking through the trees back there. We have a nice breeze, it's just beautiful. <laughs> so, as I was sitting here today, using that predator call and waiting for that cougar to slip by me in his draw right here. I knew he was coming in, right? But I was also thinking about my little decoy adventure that I shared with you. Just how that relates to our, our spiritual endeavors. Jesus. You see, I spent all that day sneaking in close and it, it ended up being a lie. I wanted that to be an antelope because I knew if I got that antelope, it's gonna be awesome, amazing, I was gonna be happy. It turns out it was a deception. <laughs> and I'm afraid that's what a lot of us are doing in our lives. If we don't have Jesus, in our hearts, the world can deceive us. It can have us chasing decoys, things that we think are gonna make us happy, fulfill us. You know, the things like money, and accomplishments. But when we get in close, you're gonna see that decoy and it's gonna get felt folded up put it in the pack and that's going to head on out of there and you're going to be disappointed. <clears throat> My little PSE X-Force bow. Thank you, Wayne Endicott. I don't know, 12 years ago or so, you gave this bow to me on a raffle. Still only killed two animals with it, but I really want to get an elk with it. I've thought about upgrading thought about getting a different model, a better PSE. Some of those new ones that are out are amazing. But I just kind of have this desire to get it done with this little baby. So the good news is Jesus. <laughs> That's the good news. Because he came to save us and to give us purpose. 
the Bible says in the book of Ephesians, it is by grace you have been saved through faith in Jesus and not from yourselves. It's nothing you did. It's a gift from God. All you got to do is accept the gift. See, I believe we were created with a God-shaped hole. The only, the only thing that can fill it is Jesus. Well, I think it might be that time. I really appreciate it again. I say this every time, but I, I mean it. That you take some time to watch these videos that I make. I'm sitting out here in the woods alone, but I kind of feel like I've got a bunch of friends with me. So that's pretty cool for me. I hope you're enjoying them. I hope they're making you think about Jesus as I share my faith with you. And I hope that as we continue on, the excitement and the adventure will amp up. Wouldn't it have been cool if like a cougar came in tonight? Well, God bless, and we will see you guys next time.